the elf on the shelf. What did it say? Perhaps with more reindeer and at the end, that is true. We can build Christmas back so, that will help the sleigh. The elf on the shelf. Oh, oh he's going to do it. Do what? Present Christmas back in a teeny tiny little old job. Or night, each year as I cannot speak. Each year as you grow, for hundred hundreds of years, it has been a big secret. It can now be shared if you promise to keep it. At holiday time, Santa sends me to you. I watch and report on all that you do. My jobs and assistance an assessment from Santa himself. I I am his helper and a friendly scow elf. Hiding in the turkey. The first time I come to your place, you call home. You must, you quickly must give me a name of your own. Once you are finished, my mission can start. What will you call me? Sparkle yeah. or heart? Will it be Foddle, Priddle, or Kyle? Fizby's, Fizby's cute, but too, but you must decide. She's over there, picking on names, Fred, Zark, Criddle, Marco, Fizz, Fizzby, Oodle, Oodle. Each night while you're sleeping, to Santa I'll fly, to the North Pole, right through the dark sky. Of course, Christmas magic helps me be quick. I laugh with my friends and report to St. Nick. He's there with all the elf friends. And there's the elf flying to Santa. What did I just do? I tell him if you have been good or been bad. The news of the day makes him happy or sad. Don't want to make him sad. I push a push or a shove, I'll report to the boss. But small small acts of kindness will not be a loss. A loss. Danger. Thin ice. No skating. In the car, at the park, or even at school. The word, the word will get out if you broke a rule. She's skating. It says danger, thin ice, no skating. But she's skating, so now the elf is right there, and she's going to report to St. Nick, probably. Oh, and sorry about my hair. I did not have time to do it. I'll be back at your home before you awake. And then you must find the new spot I will take. I'll, you'll jump out of bed and come running to see who will be the first to spy little old me. Well, I don't really know if folks are old or not. Maybe the kitchen? The kitchen? The bathroom or den is where you will find me, your special elf friend. You, I can hide on a plant, plate, a shelf, or a frame. Where will I be? Let's make it a game. Well, it kind of is a game. Uh, seven years old, find my elf. I'm so happy. There's one, only one rule that you have to follow. So I will come back and be there tomorrow. 
Please do not touch me. My magic might go. And Santa won't hear all I've seen or I know. I won't get to tell him that you said your prayers or help bake the cookies or or cleaned off the stairs. How will he know if you have been good? If you have okay. How will he know how good you have been? He might start to think you forgot about him. Story time that's around him. That's my grandma. I can't speak to you. So so says Santa Claus. All of us elves have to follow his laws. So listen to you. Tell him. I'll, I'll listen to you. Tell me your wishes. Would you like a game or some tiny toy dishes? The gleam in his eye and my my and my bright little smile the gleam in my eye and my bright little smile shows you I'm listening and nothing your file. The final decision with Santa now rest. What do you think? Will you get your request? All depends if you're naughty or nice. The night before Christmas, my job's at an end. The rest of the year with Santa all spent. So blow me a kiss and bid me farewell. I'll fly away when you hear Santa's bell. Of course I will miss you, but wait till next year when the holidays come again. And when, when the holidays come again, when the holidays come, I'll again reappear. Until then, I wish every girl and boy a Christmas of peace and a full and year full a year full of joy. This tradition began for the Springer family on December 2015. We welcome out our elf by choosing the name Charlotte.